hello and welcome to Out of the Darkroom on Adorama TV. I'm Ruth Medjber and joining me on the show today is photo editor and Instagram star Jack Caffrey. Adorama TV presents Out of the Darkroom with Ruth Medjber. Jack, thanks so much for joining me on the show. Thanks um, so much for yeah, having me. I love your work. Absolutely love your work. Can Thank you, you maybe tell us a little bit how you got started in photography? Okay, well, it's a long old story, but I'll, I'll tighten it up for you. Go for it. Um, basically, I was born into it. My dad was a photographer for years. Oh, wow. So he'd come home with this thing called a gadget bag, which is like a bag full of camera equipment. And I was only a little guy. So it was like, this was my playground. Wow. So I would pick up cameras and mess about with his gadget bag and w go on jobs with him at the weekend. And that's the bug. That's how it happened. So you've got a really cool role that's probably what every photographer wants to be which is a photo editor right oh god i don't know yeah probably the other side of the lens but yeah it is yeah that's what i'm doing now i'm a photo editor with the irish farmers journal in um, dublin here yeah how did that come about how did you land that role so it, it was been thrown in the deep end it was like i've been a photographer a press photographer for years okay. so that's where the crossover kind of happened was that i had been photographing in the farmers journal for over 15 years what is that like because i know I mean, maybe I don't know, but I'm very much a Dublin girl, a city yeah. girl, and I'm not used to farms or anything like that. Yeah. And sometimes when, you know, you meet country folk and they're looking at you like, silly little city girl. Yeah. Do you get that a lot when you go All the time. The, this uh, skinny, hairy jacking arrives onto, onto a farm and they expect a guy with a flat cap and a stick. And I arrive, so it, it's, it's always fun, like, you know. Um, basically, it's like, you come in, and you just have to kind of react. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a city boy as well. I'm not far, from a farming background, so I'm always looking at things on a farm in a different way. So I suppose I a, a, a farmer would come on and start eyeballing what's going on on the farm and what's he doing. I come with ignorance in, in, a, in a weird way, but just uh, open to what's learning yeah. something with the farmer. The light is such a big thing in your photographs. You can see it through your, through your website, through your yeah. Instagram, that the yeah. light is the subject almost. That's it. And that's what photography is, is, yeah. is the study of light, you know, but that's where I've honed my kind of thing that I like to do is mm. observe light. Would you ever use anything um, to help you get those in terms of like reflectors or, or to control the natural light? Or are you just really good at on, on my Instagram feed is all mobile phone work. So that's taken with a, uh, an iPhone all the time. No way. Yeah. yeah. Your, your Instagram feed is all iPhone work. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, wow. it's, it's the iPhone. It's manipulating the phone to work with the light. Though. Okay. You have to talk me through it. <laughs> How do you manipulate the phone to get those pictures? There's sneaky techniques on the phone. You know the, the way you can tap the phone for your exposure and yeah. your autofocus, yeah. but you can, you can control your exposure through that. So you're, you're, all, you're almost always, well, what I do is exposing for the highlight all the time. Okay, we have, we'll have to talk about your Instagram feed because you have over 18,000 followers. Oh God, is it that many? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I don't know. know. <laughs> okay, like, how, how does that happen? How did you get so many visitors and followers to your site? Um, it's just sheer luck. I'll be honest yeah. with you. It, it pure is. It's it's look. It's um, I've been on Instagram for like over three and a half years. So it was very much just working away at it, and it was a, a total new lease of life in my photography. Right. Was mobile phone photography because I would have been you know you've got a camera around your neck yeah. and you're looking that around. Suddenly there's this thing and there's an amazing camera in it, and it's g gave me so much freedom to okay. create stuff. Yeah by in the palm of your hand. It was amazing. Fantastic. So are you, are you going to plan on staying in the Farmer's Journal then for another 15 years? <laughs> God, no pressure. <laughs> well, who knows? Who knows what, what happens? But I'm, I'm, I'm shooting video now, which is kind of a, a whole new angle to wow. my work, which is really good fun as well. And is that a farmer's as well? Yeah, yeah. And kind of commercial work, more corporate stuff that we're shooting at the moment. But we're, we're, we're it's actually like, that's another new lease of life yeah. is like shooting with a Canon C100 with yeah. cine lenses and it's like all, all of a sudden it's not just video, it's cinematography, like it brings it a, a different level of uh, How have you quality. found the change? Because I know a lot of photographers that would never ever yeah. consider being a videographer, but it's amazing that you I both. know, uh, I suppose it, it's <laughs> the one thing that I found out is stop panning and moving because obviously with the photography you kind of shift around and you're yeah. constantly ducking and diving, this you kind of really have to Lock stop it lock it down yeah. stop stop shifting around and and compose because because you're composing the same you just have to try and compose within that framework mm -hmm. and that's that's 
it, it, yeah, I, I, I really love it. it it's, I find it really enjoyable. Thanks so much for chatting Thanks to me. Thanks for having me. It was yeah, great fun. Thank you. Really good chat. Thanks, Thanks a million. Thanks so much for joining me on the show today. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below. If you'd like to brush up on your own photography skills, check out the Adorama Learning Centre. And if you'd like to see more videos, subscribe to the Adorama YouTube channel. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again soon. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.